It's the Radio Dawn Podcast. I am the aforementioned. The views expressed are mine and mine alone. They do not necessarily reflect the views of the platforms that host this podcast. If you have a problem with what I'm saying, I can't help you. Shall we? Let's. In this edition, I want to talk to you about uh, a TikTok live that I slid into last, uh, yesterday. Um, today is um, the 28th of January, 2024. And I slid into a live. The person was um, um, someone like myself who drives on the left-hand side of the road, if you know what I'm talking and we were talking about, I don't know, they were talking about the Texas border thing and or um, something else. But he talked about, you know, calling up somebody and, you know, calling them up and you know, just doing a prank call or something like that. And he encouraged all the people who were on that live to, you know, find something you're passionate about and call uh you know, some Republican or whatever it is, and, you know, do a prank call. And I had to leave. I had to leave because, quite frankly, you know, I, you know, I kept thinking maybe what I should have asked was, what, what does this accomplish? Does this stop an evil governor from doing evil stuff? We have mothers and children who are being cut up in barbed wire in the in the Rio Grande River, Gulf of Mexico, trying to escape oppression and trying to get into freedom. These guys were not trying to destroy America. They were trying to save their lives. They would do the same. They're do, they were doing the same thing that you would do in that situation with your children. We had a person who was laid on a slab in Alabama who was brutally murdered by the state of Alabama. The description of what happened when they, you know, um, when, when, when they put in the nitrogen gas through his nose is horrific. We have an entire state has, that has become a gulag of sorts for people who are trans and people who are not um, heterosexual. People who didn't need see and ski. And it's getting worse for those people every single day. And your idea is to pull something that would that they wouldn't even pull on a morning show on a radio station in the eighty third ranked market in America? Are you kidding me? So I walked so I left there and and I had a really good friend who was in that live. So I didn't say anything. I haven't told her how I felt. And I'm sitting here frustrated. We keep going back to 1-6 and what happened in Washington, what happened at the Capitol, and all the things that we saw. And by the way, if you see anything on television for whatever reason... You were meant to see it. Oh, let that, you know, marinate in your mind. I'm not saying that, you know, there, there are no crisis actors, that nothing was fake, but you were meant to see it for a reason. You were meant to see it for a reason. Let's get back to that, to that day, what happened. And most people on my side of the road, including myself, say, said, what, how horrible this was, how horrible these people were attacking the attacking the Capitol and, and busting the place open and looking to, to end the lives of senators and congressmen. 
And I know just as I'm sitting here talking to you right now, that there was some guy who drives on my side of the road who looks, who looked at that and said to themselves, I didn't, but they were saying to themselves, why couldn't we do that? We've been losing for the last 10 years. We've been losing. Yeah, we had a couple of Pyrrhic victories. You know, we do have gay marriage. We do have um, Obamacare to a certain extent. We do not have a national health care system like most industrial countries have and most, you know, sensible countries have. A national health system. We don't call it single payer or some, you know, fancy dancy name like that. It's a national health care system. Yes, yeah, government health care. And if you were in the army, you got national health care. I just want that to be expanded to everybody. You don't. But in the last five years, women have lost the right to, to determine whether their pregnancies go to term or not. Trans kids are losing their freedom to be exactly who they want to be. We are all losing. I mean, think about this. If the laws that people want to uh, put out there come to fruition, there's going to be legally enforced conformity on everybody. On everybody. On not just women, but men as well. You will be compelled to conform to a certain standard. And you will be that certain standard or else we will make life really hard for you. Think about that. Legally enforced conformity. We are losing the freedom to be ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Because, because maybe the way you carry yourself bothers somebody. The way you wear your hair. Or whether you want to put a tattoo on your face. I'm not necessarily in love with it myself. But there are going to be people who are going to want you to conform to a certain visual standard a certain behavioral standard. We are losing our freedoms. And the reason why we're losing our freedoms, the reason why the left is losing is because the right is not afraid of us. Oh yeah, they're afraid that, you know, we might, you know, enforce wokeness, whatever that is. You try to get somebody to, you know, to, to ask, you know, what is woke? The same thing about, you know, someone writes, hey, what is a woman? Hell, what is a man? But the problem we're having is that they're not afraid of us. Now, we are afraid of them. We're afraid that we're going to lose what we laughingly call democracy in America. Most people don't vote anyway, so basically we've already lost that. But we are afraid that we're going to lose we're afraid of the right. The right is not afraid of us. They taunt us. They call us snowflakes. But they're not afraid of us. And maybe that's the problem. Maybe we have not done something to instill fear in their lives. We haven't become the Emperor Bellos to them. The villain to them. They have no fear of us. And that's why they're planning on eliminating us. They would like to wipe us off the face of the earth. And I don't think people understand that. Being snarky is not going to save you when they drag you from your home and put you in a detention camp and maybe all the other things that come with that. No, I do not believe in violence. I do not believe in hurting anybody. I would like to be very clear before I say anything else. I don't believe in breaking the law, but we need to do something that will make them afraid of us coming down the street. The best way I believe we can do that is to show up 
on election day. And I'm not just talking about in November. We've got primaries coming up in March. Super Tuesday. And we need to come out in big numbers. Something happened a couple of days ago in New Hampshire that didn't get a lot of press. I mean, yeah, you know, there were some people who were kind of mentioning that. You know, Karnacki at his big board kind of mentioned that, but it was just a mention. The Democratic Party was not necessarily happy with 46 not putting his name up for um, the Democratic primary. Yeah, they had a Democratic primary in the state of New Hampshire a few days ago. You didn't hear about it because all the attention was go was on, on the on the Republicans. And you can you you could vote for the president if you wrote his name in. The president won with his name not on the ballot. His name was written in. People had to take the extra effort to write in the name of Joseph P. Biden. As of the miles, I remember. To, for him to get those delegates to the Democratic National Convention from New Hampshire, he didn't spend one dime of campaign money in New Hampshire. I doubt there was a Joe Biden sign in anyone's lawn, and yet people showed up and wrote in Joe Biden's name, and he won with 66% of the vote. That's the type of commitment that's needed so we can destroy and yes, I said the word destroy the MAGAs that have infiltrated and poisoned the Republican Party. That is what needs to be talked up. If people were willing to write in the name of a man who wasn't even on the ballot, that's the type of commitment that will show up on Election Day in November. And that should frighten any Republican. My fear is that people on our side still don't get it. We've talked about Project 2025 ad infinitum and still no one no one really cares. They continue to be manipulated by the puppet masters of the Seven Mountains Coalition. We continue to receive daily dispatches from the Middle East with bloody bodies all over the place. And we're saying, oh my God, it's, it's, it's genocide. And our president supports genocide. No, he's just basically, he's just basically, you know, upholding the treaties that were signed long, long ago. But the thing is that he has been working on ceasefires and things like that. Now, I'll just throw this out. I will throw out the fact that we've always wondered exactly why we didn't have these wars during the 45th administration. Why did we have these wars? You're not going to like the answer. Every country on the planet knew, but some of us also knew, that the 45th president of the United States is certifiable. And you have a certifiable person with his finger on the proverbial button. You don't get that person angry. You don't get that person the reason to push that button. So all that... That's what my frustration has been with the left, with social media, with pretty much everybody. 
there are very few of us who actually see what's going on. And it's frustrating as all hell. Am I the only one who feels that way? Let me know. And that's it. I'm pretty much done. We'll be back soon with another one of these. By the way, if you have followed us on uh, Google Podcasts, that's going to be going away um, after April the 1st. Um, if you would like to follow us, continue to follow us on a Google branded uh, platform, YouTube Music is hosting our podcast now. If you can just basically find us, Radio Don 1, on YouTube and YouTube Music, please subscribe. You can also find us on Pocket Cast. Of course, we're also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and other places where you do uh, find podcasts. We thank you very much for, for listening. We also thank you very much for your support. We have uh, gotten up to 1,800 of uh, subscribers on YouTube. We're very, very happy about that. We're hoping to uh, get up to 5,000 by the end of the year. Hopefully, with your help, we'll do that. And your support is also, well, let's put you this way. We're not sponsored by anybody. We're not monetized. Thank you very much, YouTube. Um, you are the thing that keeps us going. If you'd like to do that, just go to our link tree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E. Do not forget the dot slash Radio Dawn. That's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Radio Dawn. The first thing that'll pop up is our piggy bank. Put something in it. Thank you very much. And, and I hope to, that you have a great week. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.